Tomorrow, North Korea will hold a military parade just a, a day ahead of the opening ceremony here where uh, South Korean athletes will compete alongside uh, North Koreans. The U.S. accusing North Korea of using the Olympics for propaganda. We spent a week inside North Korea and gained rare access to the people there. The flight into North Korea crosses mountainous terrain, southeast to the capital, Pyongyang. We drove at dusk from the airport. First impressions, clean, organized, and a lot of people in uniform. A tour of weapons captured from American forces in the Korean War counts as a school outing here. What are you learning here? We are learning about the great fighting spirit of our war heroes, this child tells me. America gave unfathomable pain to our people, he says. Here, an amusement park in the capital. Bumper cars. They are ruthless, these guys. And cell phone cameras. Though not connected to the World Wide Web, they are small signs of a growing economy. Sanctions are tightening. The average income, still around $1,000 to $2,000 a year. But everyone we met was quick to thank one person for, well, everything. The country's supreme leader. So you, you thank Kim Jong-un for this yes, yes, park? Uh, At a beer hall. Cheers. The usual bar chat, local brew and snacks. I taste <laughs> smoky, vinegary, chewy. You definitely need beer with it. The conversation becomes more animated, as bar talk often does. What do you think of America? We are ready to fight, this man says until our last drop of blood. But another says, truthfully, we don't want to become America's enemy. As fathers, we all want peace. In this tightly controlled country, you can never be sure what people are truly thinking. We are constantly accompanied by government officials, listening in and translating. Inevitably, we weren't shown evidence of what Amnesty International calls violations of most aspects of their human rights. This the country where American Otto Wambia was sentenced to 15 years for attempted theft of a poster. In prison, the 21-year-old student mysteriously fell into a coma and never regained consciousness. On Friday, Otto Wambia's dad will attend the Olympic opening ceremony as a guest of Vice President Pence, the diplomatic tension spilling over into the sports arena. Among those who've qualified, two North Korean skaters. Their Olympic dreams have flourished here under the watchful eye of the country's great leaders. When you're from North Korea, the pressure is at another level. We meet their mentor, 75-year-old speed skating champion, yeah. Han Pilwa. Would you like to win an Olympic medal? Yeah. <laughs> she was the first Korean to medal at a Winter Olympics back in 1964. She has dreamt of North and South competing as one, her brother, she explains, lived in the South. I last spoke to him back in 1990, she says. Four years ago, he died of cancer. For decades, families have been divided, lives devastated by a conflict that here, they say, never ended. In an education centre with its own replica missile, young people learn music and sports. But these boys must soon start 10 years military service. Would you rather fight for your country or play sport for your country? We would rather protect our country, one says. For our nation, I can sacrifice my happiness and life, says another. Even today, North Korea's people know little of the outside world beside what they're told. And most of us know little of them. And a note on how our trip was organised. We asked for where we wanted to go, but of course the government controlled uh, where we went. So inevitably the people that we spoke to were pro-government. What we didn't see, uh, Savannah and Hoda, was what many defectors have talked about, which are terrible conditions there. Right. When you go, you see what they want you to see. Yeah. But care, That's fascinating, right. fascinating nonetheless. Yeah. Thank you. Hello, Today fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights and digital exclusives.